Hey race fans, welcome aboard. Hey race fans, thanks for taking the time to check us out today. On this episode, I'm going to be showing you live versions of me attempting to rally race. This is Gran Turismo. I'm at Fisherman's Ranch and I'm just going to set up this race to make it a five minute race. <clears throat> so I'm going to set it up for a time. Five minutes. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want you to get into rally racing. Because as I've been trying to play it more this week, I've had a little time. Um, I'm just finding it so much fun. And last week I showed you guys Dirt, uh, Dirt 5. So this week I want to show you two games that make it a little more realistic. So we're on Fisherman's Ranch. And I can get around in Gran Turismo, but you'll see when it comes to Dirt 2.0 after this, how I struggle. And what I want you to get from this is that it's okay to struggle as long as you're having fun. And as long as you realize that you're not gonna be an amazing racer right off the start. I will say thank goodness for uh, the fences in this game to keep me inside the track. If it was something like one of those cliffs in rally driving, I would be over a long time ago. Obviously, as you've seen, the fences already saved me. Now obviously the graphics in this game are really good, it's Gran Turismo after all, they do an excellent job with the graphics, look at that glare off the window on the car in front of us, the WRX, very nice, colors always, stellar. Now the handling, I mean I'm used to playing Gran Turismo a lot, so the handling is pretty, um, I would say it's really good. It's really good for me, but what separates, one of the things that separates this game from um, Dirt 2.0 is that this, the car merely feels like it's just floating along the dirt, and I've never driven a real rally car, so I don't really know what to say, but in uh, Dirt 2.0, um, you really feel the effects of the different surfaces and the game punishes you more for mistakes. So that's making it uh, more focused on actual, the actual simulation of it. if I can get two spots, move up two spots on it here. Uh, save by the fences. 
once again. That's side too. Being too aggressive there. Oh uh, well, now I'm back two spots. Okay, let's go get this. Oh, you never want to go off a jump sideways. I'd say that's a pretty good save. Thirty-two seconds left, so the next time we come to the finish line, that'll be it. So we're about halfway around this track. Ah, every time I get close. I guess I should have speed checked like the car in front did. Oh! <laughs> yep, that was my fault. Lost another spot. Let's see if I can make that up. Coming to the home stretch here and not able to get better than fifth, but that's okay. Fifth place, all right, let's go to Dirt 2 point, Dirt Rally 2.0, and let's try a rally cross game there. see how we do in this one okay Barcelona so because Gran Turismo doesn't really have a true rally game where you have a co-pilot calling out I figure we'll try this because it's kind of like rally cross it's the closest it's the, that race in Gran Turismo, Turismo was the closest to rally cross 
And so rally cross for rally cross. So what happens when you come in last, you can't see what's in front of you. You get all the dirt. really important in this game especially to pick your breaking points because this game is merciless for when you make a mistake but you know what it's so cool because of that Three seconds behind. Oh, didn't time the handbrake correctly. Getting lapped. That's what that means. Oh. Yeah, I'll see they're getting away from us. Remember, these guys are a lot ahead of me. Get out of the way. The other thing is, notice the, the notice the, the damage, how the damage shows up. <laughs> okay, so that's one lap in Dirt Rally 2.0 and five minutes of rally driving in Gran Turismo Rally Race. If you have not checked out this game yet, you really need to. I struggled on it, I want to show you that. And I want to show you that because it means that this is a game that I need to play more often. Which one is more real? Definitely this one. Lots of fun. All right. I hope you had some fun watching that. And 
but see you the next time. Cheers. Thanks for watching. What's going on, Mr. Jet?